Today is the sixth annual Road Racing Legends fundraising event held at the Winstay Hotel. Well, I'm here actually at the Road Race and Legends uh, charity event and uh, put on by Phil Morris and, and that whole group and it's, uh, it's a great cause and what it is, it's to help injured riders and their families uh, that have, uh, the riders have been severely injured and uh, it allows them to be able to make a recovery. Uh, the funds that are generated through this event allow that to happen so they can you know go through rehab and and try to get back to racing because there's a lot of hardship you know when a rider gets injured especially if they're the breadwinner of the family and they're not able to ride they don't get paid so this is a great cause and it really pays off for the riders and their families Connor Owens from Alman and uh, yeah I just, um, had a bit of a spill this year to end my season prematurely but these things happen and uh, we'll be back again fighting for race wins hope well Realistically, top 15s really uh, for 2011 and 2012 will go at it again. So, the old charities have supported me and they're going to be supporting me this year as well. So, it's you know, I can't say enough good things about the whole thing really. It's fantastic. A lot of time goes in behind the scenes, and uh, you know, the more people we can get supporting the road racing legends and the charities along with it, the better. You know, it's fantastic. Also, guys. Numbers there. This is number five. Louis Caparossi. Signed. Morris. Louis. Morris. <laughs> no, this is not. Hey, Louis. Don't take the mic out of it. Don't be flippant. It's dyslexic. <laughs> dyslexic. 28 ways. 28 ways I took these off. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? The prince is on. Fiverr. Six, seven, eight, nine. Roll up. This was last year's Carl Fogarty's and Jamie Whitton. Who's going to start us 20 quid? Everybody want it? 20 quid. Ten and then, let's get going. We're going to be here all night. Ten, Ten and then, babe. Sold it, sold it. And, uh, also, obviously, Gavin riding the BMW to bring Superbike. And, um,. First time on it, lying in a good position. What happened, Gary? And uh, just got caught up in a bit of a start line and said, come together with Dennis Hobbs in the end and lost me from brake lever. Not knowing this, went down to the next corner, went for that. There was nothing there, so it was all right skidding along the track and got, actually got run over, which is, you know, a bit of a freak accident. It's just one of them things, I had to get on with it. So when I got there, they sort of rushed me about, called the doctor, and this was late Sunday night, and he sort of had a bit of a that made me sign a form and says, listen, it's going to look like I'm going to have to take your foot off because it had snapped through the main tailor's bone. How things go wrong so quick. Um, you know, I was absolutely gutted saying, there's no way you can do anything, no way you can do anything. They just says, we're, gonna, we're just going to open it up and we'll see, but not really. So anyway, I woke up my, my foot and they says, we, we didn't even fuse it, we've actually managed to screw it and see how you go. So a lot of help from the Ironman Sports Council, getting back fit and uh, a lot of physio and stuff. It's been good and uh, obviously I was in cast for five months. You, just, you get have some dark moments where you, you know, you're not walking and what have you, it gets you real down, but this it's just nice to know people got your back and help you out. <laughs>
It is now with the greatest of pleasure that I respectfully ask you all to please welcome the two anchormen of this wonderful event. They're here Amazing. tonight with their lovely, lovely wives. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Phil and Gwen Morris and Colin and Sue Morris! I'd just like to introduce you to Gwen. Gwen, my wife, uh, Gwen Morris, uh, she stands by me, what we do. And also I'd like to introduce Col uh, Sue. Sue Morris, obviously, uh, the better half of Colin. Um, and I'd like to introduce Colin, the chairman of Rugby and Legends. What's bringing us here today is a fundraising event, um, which we started six years ago and we've raised approximately 70,000 up till now. Um, we started this on the, on the back of coming back from um, the TTRA dinner, myself and, and Phil. We decided we were gonna have, uh, do a bit of a fundraising event like they did, and it's, it's snowballed from there. Oh, while well, we do this, we just to put, a, put a bit back into, into motor, motorcycling, because we were both motorcyclists, I used to race, and Phil used to sponsor me a bit, and we thought, we'll just put a bit back into it. Um, with the auction today i would have thought that we will do twenty thousand. so i mean you know what an achievement for four people uh, and the helpers to to achieve like eighty two thousand two hundred in six years and all that money gets given away we don't uh, you know we don't take anything for ourselves we give everything away with the ticket sales and the auction we have done £19,378.50. And we're going to get some more off you later on. We're going to get some more. Remember, we've done 62,205 years. This is going to take us 82, 83,000. What a big achievement in six years. I'm going to bring on our compare tonight and the patrons' charity which is Jimmy Wetton! It's brilliant, it's, uh, it's a bunch of enthusiasts really, which mo most motorcycle gatherings are. Um, most people in the room will either have an interest in bike racing or will have bikes themselves. Um, and Phil and his crew are always really good at getting some top, top riders and ex-riders uh, down with all, always something really interesting to talk about. It's not, it's, it's a really good night as these go. You know, I've got quite a few of these. And this is the one where everybody goes home and wants a ticket for next year before they even, you know, before it's even announced when we're doing it. Every penny they raise goes into good causes within the sport, whether that be uh, they've raised money. It's not one single cause. They choose a cause uh, every year, and that might change. Uh, they've done uh, air ambulance, um, the Alaman air ambulance that lifts the injured riders off the circuit, and that's a much needed thing. That's a proper worthy cause. Um, also, individual causes that change every year. This year, um, someone is going to a lad called Connor Cummins who injured himself in a race, and so it's a real sort of grassroots kind of thing. You can see where every single penny goes, and to that, for me, that's that's an important thing. Uh, but what I can't understand is there's that many illustrious uh, races and ex races in the audience. It's pretty much half of the 400 people here tonight. Uh, do they pay? Because I don't know how you make money if you let them all in for free, these X riders. Sorry, what? Do the X riders, do the X riders, do the X world champs in the X riders actually pay? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go, you see. Hey. 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 Good on you. I bought me. Uh, a TZR 125 and I went to Three Sisters on a little track day and instantly it was fast, probably like you two were when you got on a track, or you three when you got on a track, instantly fast and it was easy. No, these two, you were that first time these two. Oh right, okay. <laughs> that was instantly dangerous, mate. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, actually I've read your book while well, I'm reading your book, in between falling asleep. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's inconvenient. I'm in trouble now, I'm in trouble. And then, so that's why I did this. I go on a 500 Grand Prix, World Superbike, and then he'd come back to the Superbike. So, so it was, we, we literally met in the gravel trap, is where we met. And it's not the best place to make your, make your great friendship, is it? So essentially, no, we weren't the best of pals, but we didn't really know one another. And it's not until recent times that we have got to know one another, and there's amazing similarities between the way we started racing and the kind of things that have happened to us throughout the years that, you know, you can't not, we, we genuinely, genuinely get on now. 
and um, tough old year, I have to say, fantastic for me. It put us both on the map big time. I mean, Neil was obviously a much bigger hitter than, than I was. It was it was the year that definitely put me on the map. But who thought when they all kicked off? Who drew first blood? Um, JR. <laughs> 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 well, I've got to say, I was right behind the table when it all kicked off, and uh, I've got my own opinion on what happened. But, uh, <laughs> hey, and he's never told anyone the fact that. Talking about stand on the fence, he's been balancing on it now for 11 years. <laughs> from, from the outside, I tell you what it looked like. I was doing World Super Sport at the time, and I, we watched every single race. He, he, got, he developed a little bit of a, a sort of needle to it, so people watched it because he wanted to see. And this didn't happen one week, and it went on for pretty much three quarters of a season. And one, uh, me and you'd come out best, and then the next week he'd have you on the grass. It looked. To be fair, if the, no, honestly, if the pair hadn't have had quite a lot of skill off-road, they'd have been a lot more kind of wouldn't they? Because you pretty much always stopped on, just about. All I know is I did nothing wrong. John Reynolds and I'm uh, Suzuki's uh, racing director. Well, Phil invited us uh, over a year ago now. He said, you know, you, you want to come up for a good night out? And uh, yeah, I jumped to the chance and we've been speaking ever since really. What a fantastic night. Yeah, very much so. I mean, it's a great charity and everybody's here, you know, doing a fantastic job. And of course, you know, the crowd here is immense. So, you know, the, obviously the charity works and I'm, you know, right behind it, yeah. My name's Chris Walker. I race in the British Superbike Series and also I'm the sales manager for Norton UK. No, I mean, it's, it's a great idea and it's obviously from you know, a mega cause. There's a lot of riders out there that do get injured over time and also fall on hard times through one thing or another. So for something like this to be set up behind the scenes, you know, not pressured into it purely from a, you know, from a, a love of the sport point of view, you know, it's something that you know, I have to say, you have to take your hat off to Phil and the guys and the girls that organise things behind the scenes. There should be more of it and people should support it as much as they can like we do.